All right, we are live. So welcome to this uh, daily show, almost daily live vlog. Today, make it, yeah, bon dia. So good morning to everybody, it's Sunday morning. Welcome to the replay because not everybody will be watching this live. Uh, today I'll be talking about uh, clownfish. Just some fun facts. Right. So clownfish are definitely the most popular uh, fish in the hobby, saltwater hobby. They, they've been farm raised, one of the first species to be farm raised. Uh, and uh, they're amazing, they're pretty hardy fish, great for beginners, um, easy to breed. I actually have a few, if you scroll down on my, make it Carlos. Uh, Two, 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 two. Carlos, ten, ten a tua cena. Um, so we actually, if you check our Facebook page, if you scroll down, we will you will see some uh, little videos of us in a farm called Pro Aquatics. Pretty good stuff. Amazing. So let me show you. So all the clownfish are born as males, and later on, they will change to females. And there's a good reason why, because bigger bodies will produce bigger eggs, so more chances of success. So this is evolution, one on one. So they're born as males. One of them in that group will become more dominant, and that dominant one will have a bigger body because it's stronger, so it'll be dominant and become the female. So they will pair up a male and a female. So when you buy a clownfish, you always want to buy. Let's say a, a smaller clown and the bigger clown. Both of them, pretty sure they will be males, but there will be less fighting, less aggression, because they don't have to waste their time saying who's the strongest one. They already know. So, and that's it. Make their life easy. Uh, I'll say if you have a huge tank, yeah, you can get a few. If you have a small tank, only get two because they're territorial. They will fight with each other. It's a mess. Uh, Either you have two or you have 20. So that's the way to do it because the more you have, the less aggression in between. They will disperse the aggression. So they will not be focusing only one or two, segregating and then the poor guy ends up dying. So let me show you a few clowns, a few weird ones. So as the clowns have been breathing, they people notice there's some variations in between them and those variations are pretty cool. So they have been selected and they have been given a name. So bullet holes, uh, snowflakes, because they got these weird patterns and they're pretty nice. In the wild, it doesn't really work out because they're more prone to be seen by predators. So they're naturally selected and they are eaten. So that's why we don't see them very often in the wild. But some of them are rare, so we might see them in the wild. But it's called genetic plasticity so let me show you I'll show you a bunch of uh, different ones I'll show you them in groups and all that so let me ah. all right Oops. my new toy god damn it ah, there he is oh right sees let's flip through cameras Alright, so let's start with these guys over here. See? Let me just think of the air stone. Alright, as you guys can see, look at them. They're all looking for food. They, you know, they're eating pellets out of the out of the batch. You know, in the farm. The sooner you get them to eat pellets, the better. So there's some regular ones. Scientific names: Amphibium percola, Amphibium ocellaris. So there's some um, platinums, uh, bullet holes somewhere. The bullet holes have like little black dots on their white body. So in all of them, they can be together. The more you have, the better. Or you just do a pair. So this, let me show you right here. So 
you see, these patterns are really cool. The blue, white, black, orange. That's a snowflake. Some people, some other farmers might call it something else, but whatever. This is one of the newest ones to be bred. It comes from Sustainable Aquatics, and that's the Longfin Clownfish. I find it cool. Some people don't like it. Whatever, just personal taste. But look at that. It's so crazy, right? Whenever a new clown comes out, it always commands a high price. And then, as farms get a hold of them, they farm them, and then they just lower in price. So right now they're pretty accessible. Before they were like 400 each. Same thing with the gold flag. So right here there's a few more clowns. So it's an amazing fish. Amazing, amazing. What else? These ones are called the gladiators. Right there. It looks like they have a helmet. Not sure which farm started with this. Right now there's a new one coming out. It's called the Black Storm. It looks like a cow. The ones that give milk. So it's like all white with black uh, markings. So it's pretty cool. I think we're already on the list. So those are the black ones. Kind of dominoes. But there's like first grade, second grade. These ones are maroon clowns. They tend to be a little bit more aggressive than Ocelaris. They get huge, about four or five inches. Uh, four, about four inches, but it, that will take about 15 years. So these ones are still small. Something particular about these guys, they have a little a little spike right there on the opercle so that's that's the only clown that has that so yellow bellies look like sea bass what's up Jeremy there's a few more okay what else what other cool clones do I have okay there's 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 the so called I really like these ones. Let me just make a zoom, see if I can do a zoom. Can I do a zoom in this thing? Yeah, look at that one. That one is really nice. I also have some lightning maroons. So lightning maroons are... are maroon clowns that have a cool pattern. Here's the problem, the lines haven't kicked on on, on this uh, wall system yet. Sorry, sorry. That's what happens with lives. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, now I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to see if I can finish doing this uh, video. It's my little a little rig. So I'll be talking about uh, the flamboyant clown, uh, cuttlefish. I have one. is in the show tank. I should have that video hopefully fully edited tonight. Today later on at night. So between between two and three a.m. It should be out for everybody to see. That will be a, you know, a little bit more production. I'll put this one out on, on YouTube also. So all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow, most likely or not. There will be another almost daily live one. Bye.